$1,000 ice pop and a giant brain phone booth. Vsauce, Kevin here. This is my world. Jogobot is a flying robot that motivates you to keep jogging. The AR drone has a built-in camera that recognizes markers on a special t-shirt and stays a certain distance ahead of you. So it's like having a jogging buddy that's a flying robot. Honda's Unicub is a personal mobility device that claims to offer the same freedom of movement as walking. Its omnidirectional driving wheel system allows riders to stop, turn, and move in any direction simply by shifting their weight. So, yeah. Xeron is a gravity-defying metal orb that serves as a tangible floating user interface. Basically, the orb can be manipulated physically by touching it or controlled with a computer. And its uses include simulating camera position while rendering a 3D environment or simulating planetary orbit. Infrared cameras are used to chart the movement of the orb and an electromagnetic field holds it in place. A combination of a special chemical cocktail and a robotic harness is allowing paralyzed rats to walk again. The plasticity of the nervous system has allowed rats with injured spinal cords to establish new connections to the hind limbs, as the robot assistance helps retrain their movements. Of course, there's no guarantee these results will translate to humans, but clinical trials are set to start within the next couple of years. In the meantime, this robot is building its own tools out of glue. Using hot glue, it creates a cup, and then it picks it up and uses it to transport water. They hope this technique could eventually lead to robots repairing themselves and or increasing their size and functionality autonomously. It's time for micro robots made of bubbles controlled by lasers. These non-mechanical bubble microbots are controlled individually with light and they could be used to move around objects that are less than a millimeter in size. Disney is now freezing everyone in carbonite like Han Solo. The Carbon Freeze Me experience creates a 3D rendering of your face and puts it on a custom 8-inch figurine in tribute to Star Wars Episode V, The Empire Strikes Back. Eulerian video magnification can display things captured in video that are naked to the human eye. The system is pretty complicated, but basically it can analyze incredibly subtle changes in the video, then filter, isolate, and amplify them so you can see them. For instance, an infant breathing, a person's pulse as the blood fills their face, or an artery pulsing in the wrist. Finally, Steadio is an experimental video featuring a motion tracked yo yo. I'm gonna leave you with a shoulder mounted robot friend. And as always, thanks for watching.